So I thought it would be inauthentic for me not to share what's been going on within me this week because this whole channel is about transparency and being vulnerable with each other. So I need to be the example for that in order for the rest of us to do the same. And I don't want to pretend like after two weeks of, you know, doing work that I'm fine post breakup. I still think about my ex here and there. Obviously, the intensity is less, but I'm not going to pretend like I'm completely fine or it takes only two, three weeks for you to get over your ex. It's actually an ongoing work. You can't just work on it and then forget about it. You have to continuously meditate, continuously read books that feed your mind with positive perspectives on the situation, positive outlooks. You have to continue going to the gym and you have to be honest with yourself. If two, three weeks later, the thought of her comes up, don't resist it. Don't deny it and say, oh my God, I already worked on this. Why is this here? Rather say, okay, there's still some residue left. Accept it, surrender to it, observe it objectively, allow it to play its course and it will subside and disappear on its own if you do that. But if you, on the other hand, resist it and fight it and say, why are you here? It's just gonna become stronger and more intense. For me personally, it's the wake ups. When I wake up for some odd reason, she's the first thought in my head. Again, as time is passing by, it's getting less and less intense. And whenever I feel like I need to cry, I'm not shy about that. I cry, I take my walks, I pray, you know, and that's not a religious thing. Praying can heal just with the simple practice of articulating your thoughts or writing them down. I think what has helped me this week, because it's been intense this week, it shocked me. I was very good the two weeks in Florida and I thought I was over it and then it came back. So I asked myself, what am I doing wrong? Did I not work on it enough? But that's the practice. You don't heal something and it's completely eradicated. What happens in the process of healing is as you heal, what you're doing is you're just cleaning a bit out. So it may return, but it returns with a lighter energy. And the more you address it, the more you deal with it, the lighter and lighter it will become. So your responsibility, if there's any negative thoughts, if there is any thinking, observe and watch it. If I was to resist and fight it all week, it would still feel super heavy. I'm still feeling it today. I still miss her. I still miss hanging out with her. I'm still thinking of her. But I also understand that she doesn't love me anymore. She doesn't want to be with me and that her and I are simply not meant to be together. But I'm also not making myself feel like shit for missing her, right? You see the difference there? I'm accepting my reality and I'm letting it unfold. And I'm also, you have to be careful, don't allow yourself to be overwhelmed and be entertained by it. Letting it unfold and surrendering, surrendering yourself to it does not mean you allow it to control your mind. If you see that it's bombarding your mind too much, make the conscious effort to stay in the present moment through breathing. And so your only task is to honor the process of healing that you're going through right now. And you honor it by not fighting it, by observing it objectively, forgiving that person and loving that person simply because they're also a human being. They're also going through their own shit. So that's that. Life is good. There is no color. There is no fun without the good and the bad so i'm just flowing with the feelings today and the truth is is i want her to win too right i want the best for her as well i want her to succeed so there's no point in in <laughs> going in circles in my head this is the reality of the situation and you have to love it and accept it and that's that okay i wish you guys the most amazing day i love you and i'll see you tomorrow